Hey guys, Liz here. How are you? How's your day going? Mine is going okay. Um, chugging along here. And uh, let me give you the 411 on what we're going to be discussing today. How about this? Let me set the scene. How would you like to decorate a few windows in your house and make them extremely festive for the season? so that you will be the envy of the neighborhood and when people driving by your house see your, the, the glow of Christmas coming through the windows and things hanging down in your windows, they will stop because they're so interested in what you've done. That's what we're gonna do And today. let me tell you, when I've done this, I have had people literally stop their cars, no joke, and stare at my house only to find out that what they were staring at was my windows and they wanted to know how I did what I did in the windows you're gonna right. love it number one it's inexpensive half the stuff that you're gonna use is stuff you probably already have in your Christmas bins or your stash of Christmas stuff so that's number one. Number two, it is so fun to assemble this because it's so easy peasy. And number three, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. That's all I can say. It's gorgeous. What you will need is a garland. And it can be a cheapo garland. It does not have to. Okay, so let's just be honest. If the fuller the garland, the better the result. But it's not really necessary. You're... Picture a window. You're going to hang... I'm getting stuck here. You're gonna hang this in a window like this. Got it? You're gonna fluff this. Easy peasy. Oh, you're gonna either hang it with command hooks or you're gonna nail three nails into your trim work. Now, I know a lot of you are probably freaking out over that. I do it all the time. It's not a big deal. And what I do is I do one on this side of the window, one on this side of the window, one in the center. And then you take your nail when you go to put it up there, you you know, you kind of eyeball it and go, okay, I need this much. And then you take your nail, pretend my finger is your nail. You just wrap this around it and it stays nice and secure. Or if you don't want to do that, and I totally understand if you don't, use command hooks. They work the same way and then they come off when you're done. So I know most people would opt to go that way, but if you're like me, it's not a big deal because you know you're going to use those holes in the future again and you just take the nails out and pop them back in the next season and they're so tiny no one's gonna see so anyway so imagine this in your window just like this then you're gonna take this is what I'm doing but you could do you know whatever you want you will need some Mardi Gras beads. pick the color that coordinates with your home color so if you're doing silver, do silver. If you're doing gold, do gold. If you want to switch it up and do traditional red and green or white, red, red, white, and green. <clears throat> if you want to do blue, just get the coordinating Mardi Gras beads. And you can get these at Walmart, $1.78. Okay, so I'm going with a snowflake theme. And you can, I got this at Walmart. These were like super, super cheap. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're real glittery and shimmery. And what I do is I take my Mardi Gras bead and I kind of decide how long do I want it to hang in the window. So I'll cut about that much off. And then, well, here's the hanger. I go about three of these little beads and I loop it through under here like this. One, two, and on the third one, see like that? See, one, two, three, then I go like this. I take it and I twist it. Look what it did. It makes a cute little hanger. And uh, anyway, then you can take this. Okay, pretend this is the window. And this is already like installed. You're gonna take this and you're just gonna go like this. And then you're gonna pinch this back. Fold it back, and then you're gonna take this, see the excess, and just twist the bead. Then you take this and cut the excess off. And then see? Like I said, imagine 
This is a window. And um, you can put bows up top, you can add lights, like I said, or um, you can wrap ornaments up here. And then, usually what I do is, but this is probably too long, but you know, like this, imagine it like this. And then you drop another bead, maybe using a pretty ornament. I mean, it is gorgeous. Let me just get my camera so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay guys, this is what I'm talking about. Now, I don't have curtains or anything in my window yet because um, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting shutters next year or what I'm gonna do, but we like um, these windows just nice and open in here since it is a sunroom. But um, if you do, like say you do have curtains, you can go on the inside of the window frame and do the same thing. So it doesn't need to be on the outside. Um, but it gives it a really pretty festive look. And I'm not done with this. I just wanted to kind of give you a little sneak peek of what I'm doing. And then over here, I've done the same thing. And um, what I love about these Mardi Gras beads and the snowflakes is, you know, if we have the heat on or there's movement in the house, the snowflakes kind of twist and it almost gives it like a falling snowflake kind of a look. So I'm really enjoying it, but it's a real cute festive way just to see it's just hanging on there. And it's, it's just very cute and festive. So I went to um, Hobby Lobby and I got these really cute ornaments. By the way, everything's 50% off. So if you're just jumping into Christmas decorating, head over there. Although mine was all picked over. Um, but I got a bunch of these cute, really cute ornaments for the sunroom. And um, that video I just showed you, it has polka dot ribbon mixed with a solid red ribbon. So I thought these would be super cute. Um, hanging um, on either side of the snowflake. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. But uh, I got three for those three windows over there. So I think it's going to be super cute. And see, I'll just open one of these up. Let's see. So again, you just take this through. One, two, three right and then you twist just like that seriously that is so cute and um, and then this I'm gonna have one red one green hanging on either side of the snowflake but at different heights so it's not gonna be like hanging like that it'll be like this and when you see it, when I do the final video for this, and you see it with the ribbon and the light and then the whole room, let me tell you, it's going to be so cute. Not to mention, I will be doing my, um, the cutout in the kitchen here where I've got a, uh, what is that called? A spring rod. And I'm going to be hanging those really pretty, uh, snowflakes with the crystals on them. Um, that's going to be gorgeous so it's all going to tie and blend together but this is just a really cute festive way to add whimsy to your windows and um, like i said you don't have to do snowflakes you could do much smaller let me show you hold on okay guys this is a cutout in my kitchen my like my kitchen sink is below this and this is a cutout leading into the sunroom area and I've, I purchased a little spring rod from Walmart. It was super cheap and I just placed it up there, but I'm gonna drop my Mardi Gras beads with my ornaments from this and my snowflakes and it's gonna be adorable. And then over here, you can see that I've got the snowflakes hung, but I'm gonna hang those cute polka dotted um, ornaments at different heights with the snowflakes and it's gonna be super cute. The reason I'm using red so much is because my kitchen is blinged out in red, my sunroom is blinged out, the whole house is red and green. So I really wanna keep it fun, cheery, happy, 
But if you want to go with like a more elegant look, I mean, you could do like silver Mardi Gras beads with these to give them like a really pretty winter feel. Gosh, wouldn't these be pretty earrings? I love bling. I love bling anything. So anyway, there's a lot of options. But And by the way, those snowflakes, you can get those like at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So it, like I said, it doesn't have to be expensive. And if you get yourself some cheapo Mardi Gras beads from the Dollar Tree or Walmart or wherever, you've got the ornaments at home. You just, you know, add an ornament to one of these and boom, you're done. So anyway, there you guys go. That's all I got today. That's all I got. So anyway, back at it tomorrow. Got to get this house done. Got to get it done. I'm taking, I'm just dragging my feet. So my goal is to have this house done by the end of this weekend. I know it's a, it's a stiff, tall order, but I'm going to try. I'm really going to try. I got my, uh, that uh, living room that I showed you yesterday. I've got a nine foot tree in there and it works. It works. Yay. So I've got that tree to decorate. I've got to finish up my banister. I got the deco mesh on and now all I need to do is add, um, you'll see what I'm going to be adding. And, um, I've got to finish my dining room. I have decided not to decorate the basement for Christmas. Reason being, nobody's been hanging out. It's been weeks. Nobody's been hanging out down there because everybody's up here on the main level where all the bling and Christmas is. So I just thought I'm not going to waste my time and all the effort if we're not going to hang out down there. I mean, we will go down there for the occasional movie. Um... I just don't see us doing it. We're, it's so pretty up here that this is where we want to be. So I will probably do bedroom trees and maybe add a little festiveness to, to the bedrooms in addition to what I'm doing up here, but that's going to that's gonna be it. And then I think I'm going to restore the basement back to regular decorating uh, because right now it's fall downstairs and it's Christmas upstairs, so I got to fix that. So. Got a lot of work ahead of me, but uh, looking forward All to right, it. All right, guys. Sorry this video is so, like, random, but uh, I really didn't have anything planned today. So I was just winging it. I winged it today. Anyway, love you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and for all your lovely comments. And I've noticed a big spike in subscribers, and I couldn't do it without you guys, seriously. So thank you to all my old subscribers who stuck who you guys have stuck with me and um thanks to all my new ones welcome welcome i hope you guys enjoy it here so i will see you guys in the next one okay y'all have a nice evening and uh, i'll be back tomorrow with something i don't know what it is but uh we'll get ourselves into some sort of mischief all right guys bye